Yo guys, what is going on peeps? It's Reaper and we have Tips and Tricks Tuesday episode 3, I believe um, it is. And today we got nade spots. Um, this is for like nades, stun grenades, flash grenades. Um, I guess you could use it with a smoke grenade, but uh, that's probably not going to be too effective, I guess. I don't know if it could be. But um, first map we're going to hop onto is Dome. Um, then we're going to have Hard Hat and Village for our three maps today for this um, new. I guess part of the series, so um, I'm just gonna uh, use the PP90 class, and um, I should have did a search and search one, but it doesn't really matter. Um, just let me double check here, make sure everything's working. Okay. Um. So, um, if you spawn here, you can throw them through the roof, and you can also throw them off the other side. I'll show you after. Um, but if you can, I mean. I'm, I'm not exactly sure exactly the best place to put them, but if you're lucky enough, you can get one to go through the roof. Um, um, right here is a pretty good spot too. You can throw them through there. You can throw some through these little windows into the dome. I think you can do it from the other side too. You can throw them right there for someone to try to come out of that entrance on the other side. And um, like right there, you can do it. Um, or you can do it the opposite. If you can get here quick enough, you can throw through there, through these windows, whatever. Um, Spawn down here. I usually don't go for the obvious right here because they do have the spawn protection thing. So I'm pretty sure you can't kill them right off the bat, but I still have close stuff usually anyway. But I come up to this thing right here, so I go as far as this and gets the closer to the door. Jump right there and then throw it and then land right in front of the door, block the Humvee, get him hurt, and I just push up here, take him out. Um, there's also another like spot on top of that roof. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um. Right there, like spot right here. You can, if, if you're out there and you think somebody's in here, you can throw that. If you're a quick stun check for this area, right here. Um, now over here, um, I I don't throw stuns. I don't come out here and throw them. Like I said, I throw them from inside, like right here. It's a great spot. You can throw it up, and it's just great. Um, other than that, right here as well, right there. I mean, I don't think it's useful here. I mean, if you're playing CTF, you're probably looking flags in that building, and you're pushing up there, you can throw a stun on right there. And then, you know, come down here, do whatever you want. Do a snake slide, take them out, whatever. And um, those are pretty much the main spots for um, Dome. So, I'm going to go on to our next map, which is going to be Hard Hat, and I'll catch you guys back then. Yo guys, what is going on? We're back here on Hard Hat, and, um, yeah, ready to show you guys some more grenade and stun spots, so, um, uh, most of the time I'm thinking about this in the search, I'm, I don't know why I keep uh, selecting Team Deathmatch, but usually I think of this in search, but, uh, I'll just show you guys some search spawns, or I'm not sure what else, but if you spawn here, a good nade spot is to, Come up here, and you can chuck them through this thing right here, and then right like under that one, so like right there. You can usually land if they're coming out of there, they'll get stunned. Then you can absolutely push up the left side, flank while they're flashed or some shit. But um, you can also if you can, if you're a good enough throw, I would a good, uh, gooder, <laughs> better precision than other people. You can throw one up there real quick. Um, also you can, I mean, I it's very hard to get one through there, but you can do it. Um. Also, if you think somebody's going to be flanking you from up back there, you know, you can always, you know, there's not, like, a roof right here or something, you can just chuck things right there. I do that a lot, actually. And, um, you can throw them, if, if you're trying to, if you see somebody out there and you throw a flash and you're really hurt, but you still need to get them flashed again, you can throw them, like, through here. Um, up here, a lot, there's a CTF flag over there, I'm not playing GB scrims or GBs at all, anything. If you weren't playing CTF online, which I don't do a lot, but you can just throw stuns over there, flash that up, and then jump around the corner, you know, do whatever you want, do the snake slide again, like I said, do whatever the hell you want, um, you know, there's a lot of spots, always look out on maps for spots where you can throw stuff, from here, a lot of times I stun Biddle in pub matches and in GB matches, like that, 
keep throw it off that pole, just in the mid or if you leave throw it anywhere out there. And then um from this side you can uh you, know, you can throw one up like that. Um if it hits a semtex it might blow up before it gets there, I'm not sure, I don't do that. And usually I just come straight through here and I chuck it between those two things or right above that lamp thing. So those are two really good nade spots right up there. A lot of times it'll blow up that barrel right there, yeah, like that. If anybody's in this front area coming up from here to here, they're going to get really hurt or dead. And after the back here, should pops get a hit marker, and I'll probably be either going here, pushing up to get cover in there, or sitting back somewhere behind this thing, trying to get a point of view. So, um, it's pretty much it for hard to just check out for all the different spots you can throw stuff through. Like if you can throw something through that. Um, it jumps a spot right here. You can, instead of running around, you can always just jump right up across this thing. Um, Pretty much it guys, the next map is going to be Village, and yeah, there's only a couple of them here, but I don't see people use these that often, especially in pub matches, so I think you guys are going to benefit, benefit <laughs> from that, and um, see you guys there. What's going on guys, we're on Village, and um, yeah, I'm sure you a couple spots. And I don't know why, but I just feel like talking about a couple of quick updates. Uh, one, I am doing this uh, late, but um, I'm gonna tell you something. Like, I'm gonna start doing my like. I'm gonna get the rest of my uh, week's videos done today, besides Survival Sunday, which is gonna come up on Sunday because um, school starting up in the school. After school, I'm gonna be doing. You know, I'm gonna have homework and shit like that. So, um, and then I'm gonna be doing basketball fall and whatever and I'm doing golf still right now so golf and basketball. Um, I'm gonna be really uh packed <laughs> with uh, my schedule and um so I'm not gonna have too much time to do videos after mainly probably just gonna come home, jump on the computer, play a little bit of video games. Uh I'm not gonna have time to make videos. So I'm gonna start making videos on Saturdays and Sundays and whenever I have a day off I'm gonna spend like you know a few hours of one day uh, making the best videos I can make. And that way I'll have my whole week lined up for videos pretty much, and then if I'm going to do speed art during the week, then I, I do that. But, um, so, now, uh, day spots, come up, um, you know, you can come up from anywhere right here, but, um, you can stun that mid thing right there. So many people in PUBG playing Domination, you know, you throw a couple stuns, and they never, like, realize, you know, like, what the hell's going on. I'm going to come some more stuns, but, you know, you can stun them and then push up, uh, from here, a lot of times I do this. If there's somebody up there or on the A flag, you can just throw them over this, up on the hill, throw a grenade or something. Um, the same thing right here. If somebody's over there, you can throw one. You can jump off and chuck it way over by that truck. You know, shit like that. You know, just you really got it. Day spots are really simple a lot of the times. Only a couple like really like special ones. Um, but like the dome ones through the roof, those are I guess you can consider special. But um, other than that, you know, you come up here. You can, Hide right here, throw one over the wall or something, throw one over that wall, throw one over there. Um, just spawning on this side, usually my date spot is going to come right here. Even though you will stun them, you're probably not going to reach them by that point. So, what, what I like to do is have, um, if I'm playing with one other person, I just have them push straight up mid in the obvious spot. And I'll, gonna, I'll come here, I'll jump up and throw stuns. That way I can throw a stun and see who's there. If anybody's not there, then they're either over there or way out back. I can call that out, and I can get it fucked, and I can get a nade across, and, like that. and I can get a nade across, um, over here, where I stun, you know, I can do it a couple times, and, uh, that's really good, usually I'll leak with a stun, that way they're slow and shit, and then I can, uh, throw a nade, but, um, that is pretty much it for this map, it's a really wide open map, if you just find the wall, you can throw it over it, but those are some really good spawn, over the wall things, and they're really effective, especially that one over there, it's pretty good, but, Kind of have to push up. I think this one, now that I realize, now that I've bought a lot, it is actually better because you can jump up and you can try and pick out if there's any enemies. So if you have a friend friendly pushing up this way, you can call them out. Um, you can come up over here, throw a nade if you want, push over here, or if you're having three or four people in the match, um, you can have a couple guys push up this way. You know, there's a bunch of different stuff you can do. That's more on like opening strategies, which I'm probably not going to get into. Um, a series for this game because the game only got a couple months left with Black Ops 2, which I'm so on the fucking top for. You guys already know that. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm working on videos during the weekends now, I'm trying to get them done for the whole week. That way they're in better quality because I'm not doing them late at night and shit. 
But um, that's pretty much it, guys. School starts tomorrow for me, Thursday. I'm going to be doing like a video log thing all day. And, uh, probably editing that and not up this weekend as well with we'll Scrabble Sunday. And um, other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, subscribe if not subscribed and like the video. Uh, thank you guys so much. And peace out.